Hey y'all, I just um just got home from church and it's my first time going to church in a long, long time. Um and that's just, you know, personal reasons, you know, personal reasons. But um I think I, I think I like this church. Um, it's called uh, Friendship Baptist Church, and uh, I actually just found out about this church yesterday. When I got off from work, I had to go to uh, another Publix store um, to do an exchange, and so that one is closer to my house. And so I met. Um, now to know that he's the choir director for this church. I met him yesterday in the store and we were talking and you know he saw us scary and make tacos. So yeah, he had some tacos yesterday. <laughs> and uh so we were talking and at the end of the conversation, um he cuz he was trying to remember where my store was. And so he was like, "You know, my church is over that way." And so I was like, okay, I said, because I've been looking for a church to go to, a church home. And so, you know, he told me where it was at and everything like that. And, you know, um, I am the type of person that I, you know, keep everything most of the time to myself. You know, especially when I'm going through something. Um uh, if I'm trying to figure out something or if I'm trying to work through a problem or what have you like that, I will seclude myself and um, because I need that quiet time to think, you know, and when you have uh, problems that you are trying to work through and you're trying to um, solve and things like that, you need that time by yourself. I don't know if it's a quality or a weakness. Uh so y'all can tell me, you know, I'm I'm open to that. But, you know, since I moved here to Atlanta, and don't get me wrong, okay, I am still happy to be here. Okay, but I kind of thought that I would have a second job lined up by now. I get one, you know, and then I get this one, and something always happened where I can't start it. Um, I don't know if that was God telling me that I need to have my evenings or afternoons free um, to work on my dream. The reason that I came out here to Georgia for. Um, so I'm working through that. And I'm also the type of person, I don't like to run to church when things are not going good. Okay, I left church, um, like I said, on a... Uh, different reason uh, not because I didn't want to go uh, not because I was turning my back on God or anything like that but um, sometimes he breaks us down and makes us go back to him and even though I have not let go of his hand in all these years you know I still pray I still treat people you know good um, to the best of my ability, I still try to walk in his likeness. Um, and, and I always used to say, well, you don't need to go to church to, you know, believe in God. And you don't. You don't. But it's good to go to church so that you can fellowship with others. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm scared, okay? And I'm being real vulnerable right now, y'all. Um, because my baby girl is coming here. Now, I can, I can, um, struggle on my own. I can do that. But to have to struggle with my children, and, and that's always bothered me. Um, and so it's going to bother me again, you know, because she's coming here. Uh, and I want her here because she's getting ready to deliver my grandbaby. So this will be number five for you, girl. And um, 
because I'm not in that financial space that I wanted to be in before now, I'm scared. Okay, because... You know, rent, yes, rent is going to get paid. That's that's not that's not th a thing for me. Um, but it's other stuff. And I don't want to go into, you know, what it is or anything like that. What I'm doing is asking you guys, those people that believe in God, to pray you girl okay um now i'm gonna tell you the service was good though today at church um he talked about being fruitful and not in the sense of you know women multiplying you know giving birth and that sort of thing it was more so a message of what your purpose is uh on on this earth because he said in his services, and I've always um, believed in this, and we were always taught this way, is that everybody that God has made has a purpose on this earth. And we are supposed to fulfill that purpose before we die. And his message was, there's a lot of us out here that are not fulfilling that purpose. We are taking up space. That's what he said. He said we are literally taking up space. And the way he put it is he said um, it's like an investment. God has made an investment in you. Um, and he will come back and check on that investment. Yes, God is a forgiving God. But he also wants you to do what it is that he has planned for you to do. And if you don't do it, he will cut down the tree, you being the tree, meaning he will take you out this earth. And I have this yearning and I believe that that's what my purpose is. And I don't want to cry y'all. But I think my purpose is for me to, and I've always wanted to do this. I've always wanted to have, um, open up a homeless shelter to help those um, that have just been down on their luck um, and now have found themselves homeless. And I can remember writing an essay <laughs> um, in middle school about this and that has carried me it's been with me up to this point okay and um i feel like i can do it i have a brand um that i um want to be known for um and I'm not really going to go into that right now either. But um, just know that I need to accomplish one major goal before I can get to that goal. Because what I want to do is it takes money to do it. Um, and I'm not ashamed to say I'm, I'm not in a financial um, spot right now. You know, but that is not deterring me. Um, I feel like God has uh, brought me to Atlanta um, so that I can accomplish my goals. Um, many of you already know I do not want to go back home um, because I felt suffocated there. At least here, I feel like I have breathing room. I, I can. I'm. I, I'm free. You know, I'm free to dream those dreams that I have and make them come true. Um, I've taken steps to, to do it. Um, so, not to make this video super duper long. Um, this is just what was on my heart. Um, I don't know, maybe it'll, it'll touch someone else that may be going through the same thing. Um, but this is real, raw. Um, 
Gina. So I'm bearing my soul right now. And I'm letting you in on, you know, how I'm feeling right now, where I'm at right now. Um, so, yeah, just uh, I know God got me. I know he's going to make a way for me to be able to um, take care of my daughter and my, my grandbaby um, without having to lose anything. Okay, so, um, but anybody that's a prayer out there. Um, and you know God, and you know his goodness, and you know what he can do, um, send one up for us, okay? So on that note, I'm going to end this video, and I will see you later. I love you. I'm not down in no means. I am not down, y'all, okay? Know that. Know that these tears are not of sadness know that they are for my hunger um, that I have to be successful in what it is that I want to do. So I'm out. Um, I'm hungry. Why is it after, after you come out of church, you are starving to death? So I'm going to go and uh, bust these uh, tacos open and eat those so I can uh, feed my stomach like my soul has been fed today. All right, y'all. I love you and I will see you later. Bye. And God bless.